Hi, I'm Don Jordan and welcome to my Boonie Buster channel. This is a channel where I do sometimes some strange things. Uh, there's no particular theme to it. Uh, sometimes I'm using my metal detector. Sometimes I'm exploring uh, historical areas. Sometimes I'm uh, with a friend. Sometimes I'm not. So let's go see what I got planned for today. Okay, today I'm playing with another one of my hobbies. I uh, have a hobby also of flying a drone, and I'll show you my drone. This is a Phantom 3 Professional Pro. Has a camera on it, got a tablet here to monitor it, controller here, and uh, what's different about this one is that I have a GPS tracker on it here. This GPS tracker is actually made for track keeping track of your animals. It's a uh, whistle go explore. Um, and I normally keep it on my dog. Keep track of him because he runs out here in this open desert a lot. So um, we're going we're gonna to fly the drone. We're going to send it out and uh, see if I, and then land it out there somewhere a mile or so out or half a mile out and then see if I can track it down. Boy, I hope I can. <laughs> this thing cost me a lot of money. Okay, one thing I always do before I go fly this thing is I do a little pre-flight. I got a little checklist here, things that I check. I make sure the props are on tight, and they all are. And I make sure the gimbal is free, the lens cap is off, and then another thing I do I make sure that the compass is aligned and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, you will notice that these red prop guards and the camera is facing in this direction. That is generally an easterly direction. So what I do is I check the icon here and you will see that the icon which is the red one, is pointing generally in an easterly direction. That means my compass is okay. All right, something I always do also when I take off is I will uh, start the motors on it and I will take it up to a hover, three or four feet, and let it hover to make sure the GPS is stabilized and that it's under control. And then I will go to altitude and send it out. And I start the engines like this. And engines are running. Now I'm going to take it up a little bit. Maneuver it a little bit. Start the recorder. Look how stable that thing is. There's no wind out here today. And I can move it any way I want. Left, right. I don't want to hit the truck though. All right, now I'm going to send it out. Gain a little altitude here first. All right, it's gone, so you really can't see it now. So I'm going to shut the camera off for a few minutes and let her roll. Let the drone roll, that is.
Okay, I'm not really sure what it did, but I've lost contact with it. The GPS tracker says it is stationary out there, so it either landed or it's in a low hover. And what it'll do uh, most likely is land on its own, or when it hits critical low battery, it'll go back to 100 feet and then come back home. I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to run out there. It's about 2,600 feet out. I'm going to run out and uh, recover it. So uh, we're just going to keep going here until I come to the location. GPS is telling me it's just up the road here just a little bit. And I hope it is right, because that's a pretty expensive little toy. Oh, let's see, where are we? Where is it? Come on, baby. Don't do this to me. Don't prove me wrong. Don't prove me wrong. Ha <laughs> I see it. Look at this. <laughs> oh, there it is. Let me get out here, and it's doing just exactly what it's supposed to do. It came out, I told it to land, it landed, and it shut its engines off. <laughs> but I was a little bit close to this, wasn't I? Doggone it. I thought I was pretty clear. That is some slick stuff, man. That really worked great. Whew. Glad I got it again, though. This is um, auto land, and it was uh, 2,600 feet away. I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you look at the GPS tracker, it's showing it right here. And it's showing me now on the same site, because it shows me tracking it also. It shows my position and its position. And that little baby landed right there where I told it to. And the GPS tracker took me right to it. Whew. Glad that worked right. <laughs> All right, I'm at this new location now. And uh, I'm going to fire it up again as long as I still have a fresh battery in it. I'm going to go explore out over here a little bit. I'm going to go up to altitude and see what those trailers are way over there. Can you see that way over there? I don't know whether you can see them or not. But there are some trailers way over there. I don't know whether they're campers or what. I'm going to go check that out.
this point, now at this point, I can hear it, but I cannot see it. But I hear it sounds like a bunch of bees coming at me. It's way out there yet, and it should be up around 100 feet, because that's what it's pre-programmed for. So, uh, I can hear it coming. I still don't see it. Now, I got it now visual. And it's working as advertised. It's coming home, so I'm just gonna let it come home here. I'll pause this camera just for a minute. All right, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but it is now home. It's directly overhead, and it will be landing. Oh, man, I gotta lean back here. Goodness. It's a slow descent when it's in auto land like this. But uh, it is coming down. I'm gonna back up some so you can get a better view of it. Ah, oh, I gotta back up here. Uh, oh. Oh, I guess I ought to look where I'm going. There's bushes. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, it's, <laughs> it's landing. <laughs> oh, lucky I didn't hurt myself. There it is. Auto return, return to home and auto land. That's how it works. And that bush is going to get cut down. <laughs> Guess I have to pay more attention when I'm backing up. <laughs> oh well. 